Hello, so today we're going to be doing some binary addition and subtraction, and we're going to be talking about overflow. So I've set up two practice problems uh, for addition and subtraction, so let's just take a stab at it. So here we have 4 plus 5, and we want to represent these in binary. We know that obviously this should be 9, and let's just represent that in binary. So for 4, we have 0, 1, 0, 0. And for 5, we have 0, 1, 0, 1. So now all you have to do for this is just add them together. And remember that we cannot go over 1, so it'll carry if it would normally equal 2. So this goes down, zeros. And now we have 1 plus 1, which will give us 0 with a carry of 1. And we have 1. And now we know that this, this number right here is going to be 8, uh, and this number right here is 1, so we add those together and we get 9. So now we have 4 minus 5, so we're going to set this problem up again. And we're going to subtract this time. But in binary, we can't just simply subtract like this. So what we have to do is we have to use 2's complement and we're going to convert this negative 5 into a plus negative 5, like this. So how we're going to do that is we simply just flip the bits of this number, and then we add 1. So when we flip the bits of this, we get 1, 0, 1, 0. And when we add 1, we get 1, 1, 0, 1, like that. So 1, 0, 1, 1. So let's write that down. And now we just add. And this number will yield, let's write it in blue so it's a little easier to see. So how we read this is this, is, this first bit is our signed bit. So we take the value of whatever this is. So Normally this would be 8, and we make a negative. And then we add this bit, this bit, and this bit. So we're going to add this bit, which is the value 4, plus this bit, which is the value 2, and this bit is the value 1. And that value is equal to negative 1, as we expected. So I set up some examples um, of a case called binary overflow when we add or subtract. Um, I'll talk about that more later, but let's just work through these problems. So this number right here we know is 7, and we also know this one's 7. So when we add them, we expect a result of 14. So let's just add those together. So here we get 0, oops, 0, carry a 1. 1, carry a 1, 1, carry a 1, and then drop that 1 down. And let's work this out, what this number is. So this bit is negative 8, this bit is positive 4, 2, and when we add those together, we get negative 2. But we just said earlier that this should be negative 14, um, but for some reason we're getting negative 2. Uh, this is a concept called overflow, and why this is happening is because um, when we do... Um, the range of, well, our range for our bits is we have a signed bit here, and then we have uh, our value bits here. So that value, the maximum value we know is 7. So when we add two positive values greater than that, we get an overflow. So we know that our range is negative 8 to 7. So when we exceed this range on both sides, we get an overflow. So let's just work out another problem again so we can see this concept happening. So this is negative 8. And we're doing negative 8 plus negative 8. So we expect negative 16.
but when we add these together, we get zero. Obviously, that's not right. So we know that there's overflow occurring here. One way to detect overflow is when you're adding or subtracting bits and your signed bits are the same, but you end up with a signed bit that's opposite of your two bits.